Hey everyone, sorry for the crazy hair. Usually when my hair is up, uh, I am up to uh, a good project and I'm super excited about this one because um, we are flipping our um, sofa that we found at Goodwill for like $24 and it was like a mint velour color which is really, really pretty and it was going really, really well with our nursery and I have scrolled through Pinterest and saw how some people transformed excuse me, how some people transform their sofa chairs to rocker chairs. And so I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this because uh, it kind of seemed a little expensive from what I've read. Um, and so I was trying to figure out some other options. A lot of people bought like those little sliders that go underneath, but then you have to, um, which I was not aware of that, but my brother is a really good specialist in wood. He actually makes cabinets for airplanes, like really luxe, expensive, um, cabinets so I asked him and he said well you have to make sure that um, when you do cut it which cutting is not a problem the problem is actually putting it on top of the piece and making sure that it's balanced because it will either tilt too far to the front and tilt too far to the back if you're not careful so um, I was like that sounds like a big project because I'm not a wood specialist um, I mean, maybe eventually I will be one since I'm doing all this house stuff, but um, I wanted to show you guys, I'm actually taking apart right now um, this chair. We actually found a chair that was very similar to a sofa. This is what it looks like. And we scored it for 15 bucks. It's solid wood, which is phenomenal. So now I'm taking this frame off. As you can see, it's kind of square. And we already placed that one on top of the sofa chair. We just took the legs off of the sofa chair and we placed this one to see, you know, if it fits, if it sticks out, do we need to, you know, alter anything. And we actually sat on the sofa chair and it was perfect. So um, let's just say that we kind of um, got away with it in the easy way because it was gonna be like a little bit of a harder project, but despite that and me even um, sanding it down a little bit and then staining it black, um, all together, I'd say this project will turn out to be $40, and that's the sofa chair, the rocker piece, um, you know, the hardware, and then, of course, the stain. So, I'm super excited to show you guys what it looks like in the end, but I wanted to make sure that I uh, showed you guys what it looked like before, like we're really taking this piece apart, which this one was a pretty good chair itself. Um, Ryan was like, why don't you reupholster this one? But I didn't like it, it was a little too low. The other one seemed a little comfy, you know, warm, um, especially when you have a ba baby and, you know, I'm planning to breastfeed, so I'm trying to find a comfortable spot and it was definitely comfortable. So I am super excited that we actually found a full on frame for the rocker. Super excited. So I um, just wanted to do this project so you guys can see some of the things that you can do um, to kind of work around some issues that you may face and that was one of my you know challenges it wasn't an issue but it was definitely a challenge because it was either going to be like another hundred dollars that I have to spend on the wood um, and then cutting it and balancing it out and I was like I have no idea how to do that so that turned out to be great because when we were in Spartanburg for a wedding I think we were driving back and a lot of times we just stop at random Goodwills just to check their furniture because I do so much refurbishing that um, sometimes we could find a good deal. And I looked at this, I was like, this is gonna be perfect because it's the size of the sofa chair. It's about the weight of the sofa chair. So that frame would be perfect to hold um, the whole thing together and, and adult and a baby. So super excited, make sure that you stay tuned. I will definitely show you guys um, a before and after pictures or videos after I stain it. And then I'll show you um, after it's attached. So I'm super excited for you guys to see it. So I just um, took the springs off of this piece right here because I don't need it. I'm actually gonna have a seat that's actually gonna go right on top, but I did take off this frame as well because this is actually gonna be attached to the sofa and then that piece is gonna be attached to that piece. That's how it came in the original chair, so that's how I'm planning to attach it. That's one thing if you buy a rocker and it has similar kind of framing, just make sure when you take it off that you remember exactly you know, how the screws went and how it kind of assembled so you don't have to, you know, come up with anything and it's gonna be a lot sturdier. So I didn't realize that these springs are actually super tight because they reach from one side to the other 
And when I was taking them off, because they were held with the little clips and huge staples, that's what they, they look like this. And it was like, I don't know, can you see this? Might not focus. Focus, focus, focus. Let's see. I don't want, oh, there you go. So this is the piece, and then it had a big old staple in here. So I had to put like a flat screwdriver underneath, and one of them popped, and so I didn't realize it, but it hit my hand. So the other three was a little bit more nerve wracking, but it's finished, so I don't need any of these pieces. They can probably go in the trash unless I'm gonna recycle them. And this is what the chair looks like. The back side was actually stapled all the way down, so that was kind of annoying. Sometimes when you do a project, you don't realize certain things that kind of add on. So this had a lot of staples in it, so I had to take it off, but I wanted to make sure that when I was taking it off that I didn't ruin the frame. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over, sand it down, as well as this, and then um, stain it, and hopefully I'll be able to do uh, three to four coats before the night is over and then tomorrow I'll be able to assemble it for you guys to see um, exactly how it looks so I'm super excited stay tuned